it's been really interesting to say the least you know to, to finish up a project of your own and then then be asked to, to help on another project and you know you and I've been doing this for a number of years now talking about courthouses and uh, it's a it's a living breathing piece of Texas history and we're standing in it uh, about to get ready to restore it I mean it's just awesome mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, to, to, how's the grant situation looking so the la in the last couple of weeks it's it's been quite different. Um, the Texas Historical Commission uh, Courthouse Advisory Board has met over the past few months about you know how to make these projects more efficient, safer, uh, more user-friendly and uh, I was asked to sit on that board and, and I gave my input and uh, this biennium, the, the state legislature had a surplus of funding, so they decided to fund the courthouse uh, restoration uh, with with some much needed uh, updates and in, in funding agreements. And it went from a six million dollar cap to a ten million dollar cap, which includes round twelve, which is Upshur County. So, you know, that's that's a huge thing, uh, especially here. It's going to save the property taxpayers. Uh, quite a bit of money. So the uh, Upshur County's uh, was at 5.2 million is what they had to spend out of their $6 million uh, grant because they used some funding previously to help with emergency roofing situations and some flooding situations uh, back in a few years ago. And uh, so that 5.2 plus 4 million is 9.2 million minus the uh, the uh, mat local match is going to bring the funding from 5.2 million to 7.6 million that the grant from the state is coming in at 7.6 million and this is about a 13 million dollar project so that's a great thing for the property taxpayers in Upshur County because you couldn't build this courthouse anew probably in the range of 35 to 50 million dollars so I mean why why wouldn't they do this do it now with the help of the state so it's a great thing again it's saving Texas history this is a living breathing piece of Texas history and it's just great and I'm very blessed and honored and humbled to be a part of it now uh, you spoke a second ago about rounds are there certain areas in the state of Texas that, that the Commission is looking at? So the the round, the round 12 is what Upshur County was in. Every two years the Historical Commission, in particular the courthouse restoration uh, branch of that gets together and off of a point system looks at all the courthouses that put in for this grant and they select however many they can afford to either fully restore like this project or if they have emergency issues like this project had previously on how much they can you know allocate to each courthouse so uh, you, you may or may not remember Marion County was selected in round 10 so every two years they have that selection process this was selected in round 12 and then the next round will be 13 so they've done that every two years for 12 times, so the pro the the program's been in place 24 years. Okay, all right, and um, you know, uh, you mentioned in uh, open court about materials. Uh, everything has to be put back to the way it was originally, right? To to a certain extent, you know, the the historical commission has very specific things that they want done, and they give you a little leeway on others. You know, indoor plumbing, air conditioning. You know, we have to put in uh, technology-based things like wired-in internet or telephone lines. Uh, th this project, this courthouse is from the 30s, so a lot of that was already here. Telephone, uh, some kind of cooling system, uh, you know, some creature comforts that, that were allowed. You know, they don't, they don't want you to change the architectural structure of the building in any manner. Uh, they want to get rid of uh, the ceiling tiles and such as that, you know. So there, there's a give and take on that. But it will be back probably to as close to the 30s as humanly possible. Mm. Okay. And I guess, uh, well, 
just like at Marion County, there may be some surprises lurking. Indeed. Around. You can never tell when you start taking one of these old buildings apart. Mm -hmm. Just what you're going to find. Mm -hmm. You had a pleasant surprise in Marion County. Yes, we had plenty of pleasant surprises. We found a bunch of neat stuff there. Mm -hmm. That had just been covered over. It should have been covered over. Mm -hmm. so or, or fell behind a crack of a bench that had sat there for 125 years and once you move the bench you find the pocket knife or the the coin or a letter or you can't it's just all kind of neat stuff so there's no telling what we're going to find or as we start coming ceiling, through here the dome ceiling. Or, or or the curvatured ceiling in our courthouse mm -hmm. you know i'm sure there's people that knew that that it existed but they weren't any they weren't alive to tell us mm -hmm. you know so we we found it just by taking the, the false ceiling down. So there's no telling what we're gonna find in this old building. So that, um, and then of course you also spoke about uh, having to fence the place off. Yes, sir. So uh, just like we did in Marion County for the safety of the public and, and the safety of the building, uh, once once we get moving you know, deeper into the project, you know, we'll have to fence this, this square off here, you know, around the courthouse just for the safety of the public and, and the construction workers and, and other people. And then I guess they will relocate the offices as needed. Yes, sir. So the offices are currently being relocated across the street from here um, and uh, portable office buildings that the county has leased during the project. I see. Okay. All right. So uh, is there a timeline start date? So we're probably looking at uh, hammer swinging in October. We've still got some preliminary stuff to get through. Uh, sub subcontractor selections, uh, things like that. But I, I would imagine the middle or end of October, we'll, we'll start swinging hammers in here and start the demolition part of the project. Okay, and now has all the grant money been approved? As far as right now, we are still uh, waiting to see how they're gonna allocate that extra four million, whether it's gonna be in a uh, the, the same scenario that we've already got the 5.2 with a 15% match, which is what I think they'll do because it's the easiest. Uh, they'll probably just tack on a caveat to the current contract that we have with the Texas Historical Commission and update that. That's the way I see it. But when you deal with big government, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and I guess as far as an end date, <clears throat> That's not even out Yeah, there. you know, well, we selected a construction company, which is J.C. Stoddard, and in their proposal, they said 620 days <laughs> from the time they start to the time they're finished. Okay. What, what day they start is still yet to be seen. All right, great. Anything you want to add? No, sir. All right, appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks James. James.